wasted no time getting their jokes in order after Donald Trump's big win. Here you go. The big story is that America woke up this morning and was like, Can I do that? That's right, Donald Trump is going to be president. Republicans hope he'll keep his promise to build the wall, and Democrats <laughs> hope he'll keep his promise not to accept the election results. Uh, democracy just hoiked up a marmalade hairball with the whole world watching. What we did was the democratic equivalent of installing an above ground pool. <laughs> Even if we're lucky and it doesn't seep into our foundations, the neighbors will never look at us the same way again. My wife and I went to watch uh, the election returns at a friend's house. And before we left, we put our eight-month-old son to bed, and I was holding him, and I said to him, when you wake up tomorrow morning, we might have our first female president. And then when we came home around midnight, I uh, went into his room, uh, shook his crib until he woke up, and screamed, <laughs> we have to get out of here! The elites need to learn to laugh less and listen more. And they would have understood mm. a little bit more about this. Profound. And look, we, we heard it early on, traveling around the country, right? That's what we started saying. You can joke about Trump. Don't tr tr joke about the people behind him. Look, who doesn't like an...